Keith Barnett, you had a split weekend uh, last week. He played at home against Nevada, then went on the road at San Jose State, win the home, lose on the road. Let's talk about that Nevada. Um, your team really was dominant in that game. Yeah, uh, it, it was nice. Joy uh, showed up and, and showed out, you know. Uh, she, hit, she hit for a great percentage. Uh, that helps a lot uh, when you get that kind of production, and, and Nevada had no answer. Uh, then in the second set, their number six was going off, uh, and so we flipped our middles in the third so that Joy was on that kid. Uh, and then we won the third set. So it was nice to see Joy kind of step up to the challenge. I know there's been, you know, the rotations you've been changing a lot. It was nice to see Joy, as you said, you know, play a complete game really. Yeah, and she did that again at San Jose. You know, she worked really, really hard to close blocks. She was touching a lot of balls. Uh, they had a fifth year senior in the middle who did some nice things towards the end of the match to, to slow Joy down. Uh, and then their sixth year senior uh, did some damage against us on the right side and the outside. She's real good. Uh, and those are things that we just don't have an answer for. And, and so, yeah, they scored a lot of points for them. And, um, you know, San Jose's pretty good. I mean, they play ball year round. I talked with Trent about that. Uh, and, you know, they go indoor and then outdoor. And I think six or seven of his best players all play both. Wow. So your team's development, obviously, we're getting closer to the end of the season. We'll talk about what's coming up this week in a minute. But how are you feeling about, um, like, each player and then collectively as a team. Yeah, there was a ton of growth this weekend. Uh, you know, Allie, uh, Allie Griffith had a, a chance to set on set point against San Jose, uh, doubles it, and then we end up losing the first set, not not the reason why. Uh, and then in the second set, she bump sets the next ball, and I'm like, no, 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 no. And then the next ball that she gets to set is again, another set point in the second set. So, and she, it comes out clean, you know? And so that, that growth there is great. Uh, Ella Shore hit 250 on, you know, at San Jose State. And so as a freshman, you know, the, the match before against Nevada, she didn't hit the way she wanted to. And then against San Jose, she goes and does way better than that. So, you know, there's a lot, a lot of individual growth. And as you look at our lineup, as it gets announced every year or every, every match, freshman, sophomore, freshman, sophomore, sophomore, it's something along those lines, and then a junior and a senior somewhere. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, voting well, getting better, but uh, two teams coming in here that uh, you've always had a tough time with. Everybody's had a tough time with one of them, at least, but Colorado State and Wyoming over the weekend. What do you want to see from your team this weekend? Yeah, just continued growth. You know, and can we make some changes where, you know, CSU hurt us in some areas last time? And so can we hold up underneath that pressure? Um, I think that's, that's the test there. And then obviously Wyoming, you know, can we play a little better than we did at Wyoming? And, and again, we went, we got close to winning a set there. Sa same thing at San Jose State. You know, how do we get over that, that last little hump? You know, who's going to score a couple points? Can we get a few more free points from serving, et cetera? Does it help? I remember last year you were playing back-to-back -back games, and we know how that turned out for the Falcons. But <laughs> just, it seems like just yesterday you played these two teams. Is that helpful, hurtful? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've seen everybody once now, so that always helps our cadets. You know, they're, they, I think they get better in the second half, and, you know, the academic side gets better for them too once they're past Prague. And so this is typically when we start to grow a lot, um, and that's great. You know, we have that chance now. And, and the schedule being inverted, you know, where you play everybody and then you play the two teams you play once and then go back the other way is really interesting. Uh, you know, and, and it's done by a computer, so I you know, really don't have any input on that. <laughs> For sure. You play Thursday, Saturday afternoon. We'll see you there. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.